Welcome back guys to another video and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the armamentarium with behemoth. This is something that we haven't really focused on too much. I've definitely been looking at other exotics compared to the armamentarium and obviously armamentarium not really too much to talk about. It gives you an additional grenade charge that's all there is to it. You see here you're rocking the glacier grenade with this setup. Of course you could also do the dust field grenades. Cold snap grenades no, re no longer really very meta. So definitely didn't consider using those. Instead, I just decided to use two glacier grenades and just slide around like an absolute donkey for your viewing pleasure, basically. And you know, we'll talk about how viable it is and how this compares to other exotics for the Behemoth Titan. Now, personally, right off the bat, if you're asking me, do I think Armamentarium is good? I do think it's good, but I think there are other exotics out there that are definitely better, particularly for this sort of thing if you're trying to spam grenades. I think Heart of Inmost Light is far superior to the Armamentarium. Now, that might be a little bit confusing to hear me say that because, you know, Armamentarium gives you two grenades, right? And Heart of Inmost Light doesn't. But here's the thing, apart from at the beginning of the game, you're probably never going to have two grenade charges up and ready to go, especially not if you're using your grenades with any sort of frequency, which you obviously should be doing considering how utterly broken, you know, destroying crystals is and obviously the Glacier Grenade is the main source of doing that so yeah you're never really gonna have two grenades up at any given time that being said though you'll always be close to one of them cooling down because having two charges is pretty nice so you're you know you're like at one and a half charge and then you use one and shatter it in combination with whisper of shards getting that increased grenade energy you'll probably end up getting another grenade ready to go so it kind of works like heart of the most light in the sense that using a grenade allows you to recharge another grenade but the difference is, of course, Heart of Inmost Light does that for all of your abilities and not just the grenade. Now, for that reason alone, I think Heart of Inmost Light is superior. Like I said, though, if you're super, super grenade centric, maybe you can make a case for the Armamentarium. Personally, I think Armamentarium is probably strongest at the moment on the Sentinel, rocking 100 discipline with double suppressors to try and shut Stasis down, which is something I'm going to be exploring here very shortly. You can expect another video on Armamentarium soon, but of course, like I said, I will probably be rocking the Sentinel to try and spam Suppressor Grenades. But I've got to say, I've been trying that a little bit and messing around with Suppressor Grenades in PvP, and I've got to say, like, using grenades to shut down players preemptively using abilities is not as simple as shutting a super down in my experience. Shutting a super down is pretty obvious because they're going to be running at you and you know basically you're not watching out for that grenade so it's easy to just tag them with it when you're trying to hit people in normal play with a suppressor grenade it's not as easy especially not when people are moving around a lot like behemoth and like revenant with the shadow dive obviously being able to use that in combination with dodge is just a very very good for mobility we're not even talking about the lethality that it offers so yeah it's it's an interesting one i I really can't see too much of a reason to rock Armamentarium other than to just to use it, to use it, I guess. I don't know what you guys think. Is anyone rocking Armamentarium in the comment section? Let me know what subclass are you using it with. I definitely think Armamentarium was more popular in Destiny 1, specifically on Striker Titan, because obviously lightning grenades were so powerful in Destiny 1. Obviously, I have been playing Destiny 1 yesterday's video. We took a little revisit to D1, so if you haven't seen that, Make sure you check that out. I would very much appreciate it. Um, and yeah, aside from that, just looking at the gameplay that we've got going here, I was rocking my old fashion with Firmly Planted and Kill Clip in combination with the Duality. And it's just becoming a bit of a favorite combination of mine. And if I'm not using Old Fashion, I'm probably using that Patron of Lost Causes. I heard this weekend the Trials map is Dead Cliffs. So I'm probably going to use that Scout Rifle if I do end up playing. I am considering whether or not to go live and stream today. I mentioned yesterday's video, I've got something going on in my right ear, it's like a blockage or something like, I hopped out of the shower and um, I used some earbuds to clean out my ears, I, I mean I always do that right? <laughs> and I, I, just, I was doing it and then boom, all of a sudden I could hear shit in my right ear, like I don't know, I did something, but I'm taking like some eardrops and I'm trying to... I'm trying to get that fixed up and uh, we'll see. I, I might stream today, but I'm kind of on the fence. It's, it's something that is really bothering me because I don't, I'm the kind of person for whatever reason, obviously, you know, touch wood, 
I never really get that ill too often, so anytime something does happen and it puts me out of commission, it really just gets on my nerves. And uh, luckily YouTube is the kind of stuff where even if I'm not 100%, I can still put out content, you know, record the gameplay, do a little commentary, it's not too bad, but streaming, obviously I'm going to be yapping for hours on end, non-stop. I'm going to be sweating as hard as I can to help people go flawless in trials. It's a lot more intensive and, uh, you know, your boy can't hear shit in his right ear, man. Is this what it feels like to be old? Am I getting old? I am getting old. God damn. Maybe this is just karma for all these bubbles I've been destroying with Behemoth. And a dude comes in here with, uh, a dude comes in here with Sentinel and there's just so much ice that I think he just lands in the ice and then I slide and he dies. Look at that. Who, who would have thought it? I've got to say, the contrast going from playing D1 to D2, it is crazy. D1 feels much more simplistic, much more, you know, who's got the better shot, who's got the better positioning. Whereas D2 at this point in time, with all the stuff they've added, it is just absolutely nonsensical. I mean, is this really a shooter? Someone left a comment on my D1 video saying that D1 was a better FPS and D2 is a better RPG, and I would agree. I think D D1 at its essence is an FPS game and what matters most is shooting your guns. Even if there were cheesy abilities in D1 at the end, like fusion grenades and you know infinite icebreaker and all of that. But again, you know the glory days of D1, they really just have never been they've never been matched by D2 when it comes to PvE. I'm sh I'm sorry not PvE, PvP. I was going to say when it comes to PvE, people probably think D2 is better perhaps, I don't know. Personally, I've never enjoyed PvE in the Destiny franchise as much as I did in year one of Destiny 1. That's just a personal thing for me, I guess. Um, I want to know what you guys think though about this armamentarium combo. Are you guys going to be taking this into the Crucible? Don't take this into the Crucible. I honestly felt guilty just doing nothing but Cryoclasm slides. But then when I see Hunters abusing Shadow Dive, and you know, then I, then I feel less guilty. Then I'm like, you know what, dude, if, if I wasn't doing this, this kid on the other team would be just Shatter Diving with impunity and uh, you know you don't want to see that we do not want to see hunters shatter diving with impunity now of course i'm thinking of what else i can explore when it comes to the behemoth titan and what exotics i can do videos on you guys if you've been watching my videos and keeping up with my videos you'll know which ones i've used and which ones i haven't i've pretty much been through almost everything at this point i've done synthos i've done antaeus wards june marches heart of a most light one-eyed mask and now armamentarium. Uh, I'm just thinking, we're, we're kind of running out of options here. Maybe I'm thinking that um, Burning Fist, so what's that What's that exotic called, man? The one where it's got like the green gems on it. I can't remember what it's called right now. But I'm thinking maybe that might be good. Maybe I could make Shiver Strike a one hit kill or something. I don't know, we'll see. There are definitely different options to explore. I'm also thinking of maybe going on some other characters, maybe doing some Hunter videos or Warlock stuff. Let me know what you guys want to see in the comment section. Anyway, guys, I think we are wrapping up this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace.